Also developing right now, the man accused of sexually assaulting and murdering his nine-month-old daughter remains in jail tonight. A judge reviewing the case of 23-year-old Luis Luna today. Some of the allegations in the story you're about to hear are disturbing. Our Brandon Walker is live tonight at the apartment in West Harris County where that little girl was found. Brandon. And Chris, this was a probable cause hearing in magistrate court during which we learned more about the allegations against Luna. Also, what was interesting out of court today is what we didn't learn, and that is Luna's fate as far as Bond is concerned. The magistrate judge today opting to save that decision, whether Bond should be set, what to do with Bond, for a judge in criminal district court. He says that there could be a more expansive hearing there because of the allegations at hand. Mr. Luna, if you could please stand up. Luis Luna didn't stand because he wasn't present to do so in the mental health unit, we are told. We did, though, hear what this 23-year-old father is accused of doing to his nine-month-old daughter after midnight the morning of August 24th at the apartment Luna shares with his brothers. The father of the child identified as this defendant was detained. Because, say prosecutors, Luna was the last person to see the girl awake. They say he told officers he awoke to find his daughter unresponsive, says he tried CPR, also said she sleeps in her car seat next to his air mattress. When he laid her down, he buckled the straps the same way as if she was riding in a vehicle and believed he may have had the straps too tight, and that maybe was what caused her death. But an autopsy found the baby's asphyxiation to have occurred during a sexual assault. And prosecutors say there's evidence to back that up. Officers executed a search warrant on the 25th at the defendant's residence, located bloody baby wipes in a garbage bag in the sunroom where the defendant was sleeping with the complainant. There were no diaper, there was no diaper in the bag where the wipes were recovered. Also, it's alleged scratches found around the baby's neck. Other evidence there, too, just a little too disturbing to share with you here on TV. Another aspect of this is that baby's mother. Investigators did interview her. They say that she said she dropped the baby off three days prior to her death to spend some time with her father. And they say she told them when she did so, the baby only had a diaper rash. So that's where that investigation stands as far as mother is concerned. No date yet set on that appearance in criminal district courts. Stay with us. We'll let you know once it is. Live on the west side of Harris County, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. It is difficult to hear. Brandon, thank you.